a little full up on grape seeds. So I might want to use those. Do I have a... Uh, rose mile? Sure do. A rose Plant you. And you. Do it. Do it. Do it for me. There we go. Is it going to grow on its own? No, I think I need a little more. Like two. Oops. Suck, suck them back in on accident. There we go. Die, nature. Alright, got a grape for me. Might use it to brew something. But most importantly, just sort of die, sort of managing inventory for a bit. Alright, so I botched that fight a bit, I'll admit. But now it's time to head back. We should have gotten a key from that. May have missed that individual pop up in the noise or or forgot or I might have even acknowledged it and then forgotten. <laughs> there was a lot going on at once at the end there. So we're heading up towards the scroll. Ooh. Got various food sources, new skill, all around good news. How are we doing on a uh, our our currency there for leveling up? Yep, skill up ready, it says in very plain sight, in case I wasn't sure. And ability ready. There we go. I can level up the cipher itself. A spear entrusted to, uh, from Griselda becomes sharper as it absorbs phosons and drift in the battlefield. It only costs 20. Might as well do it with the most basic level up of my basic weapon. There we go. Next one will be plus two attack. Be a bit more of a save. Uh, we'll need a little bit more saving before then. Ability, though. What skill up is ready, I wonder? I'll move on for now. I assume it's just that it's, there's just so many things on that screen that something probably costs less than what I have right now. But not all level ups are created equal. Hi, everyone! How you doing? You, it's just you now. You're all alone. How's that working out for you? You're on the wrong side? It's funny, it's always funny having a concept of like a... These are having having these mythologies and these worlds where various teams have armies fighting each other, but then of course the player character is just some person who can magically defeat hundreds of those people. It's like, kind of makes you wonder why they have bother having a war at all. At some point, it seems like the rational thing to do would just be to have the uh, uh, have both sides have their super powerful people fight each other and just skip all the crappy grunts that are dying for seemingly no reason. Because they are not worthy opponents. <laughs> Their contribution to the war is that they show up in a room and get stabbed 17 times in the chest before they get to do anything. <laughs> By one person, along with all their friends. There we go. She tried blocking. It almost panned out for her. But then sadness. There we go. Our new contribution is... Alchemy Mix Restore. Restore directly charges magic power, and essential, uh, and essential for those who use powerful magic. Material plus two caratiers. So I assume that it, that restores my PP then. An alternate use of caratier that doesn't involve your healing of health. There's more caratier just in case I want to make one. I guess. How many caratiers? I have a lot of caratiers actually. Whoa! Multiple levels of uh of material, too. You mix food with food to increase grade. So what if I use, like, a high level... We'll use a three. And try a couple caratiers. And that, re that recovers PP. Which gives me another restore, which recovers PP. Which, of course, we already had one of, but it's more. Probably more reliable than whatever happened with the uh, infinite PP that didn't seem to quite pan out. I can probably rely on the on the direct restoration of it to do what it what it says. I do wonder what I did wrong there. I must have done something wrong or misinterpreted something. Small keyhole in which no average key will fit. I need a special key. 
So I don't so I can't use it right now? They did they did give it a shortcut. Nope, there's a keyhole over there too. I wonder if I've missed a key or if you're supposed to bring or you're supposed to have them just in general from other runs. Cause it could be a farmable resource that you try to get. And then when, then when you come across your next key that uh, your next chest that requires it, it would open that up or something. Hard to know for sure. Howdy, folks. So nice of you to visit. Just gonna start ending you all, if you don't mind. There we go. In my defense, you deserve it. Well, maybe not. But you're in front of me, and that's pretty much the criteria. <laughs> You're not gonna try blocking it? <laughs> See how that one pans out for you? Oh, there they go trying to block again. I've got straightforward enough fixes for that. Howdy. Oh, out of range. Oh, tragedy. I wasted my stamina, my power. It's gonna take like a whole three seconds to recharge. You know how tragic that is? There we go. It, the amusing thing is that so with some of these fights, uh, the re I don't need every grape seed ever. It'll be I'll be fine. Uh, one of the amusing things about this game is that if you if you have fast, fast enough fights, the recap screen, if left unskippable, if you don't skip it, I mean, uh, will take longer to explain the uh, the score of the level than it took to fight the mission in some cases, or at least I think it that uh, seems like that way at times. Here we go. Stocking up. I see you over here. No escape, you little kung fu carrot. Ooh. That could be the key I need. It's a small key. That seems rather un unambiguous. And none of those were enemies. Good to know. All the more reason to revisit the previous one, then. Alright, so head this way. Oh, <laughs> These are Mario, your Super Mario Brothers moment, hovering across the level off off camera. Oh hey, don't want to miss you. There we go. If you're wondering why the, if you're wondering why when I walk up the doors the the map keeps popping up and they're not quite staying there, it's me failing to hit up and X correctly and it keeps flashing in and out because part of uh, moving around is having the uh, map show up. Oh, I have two keys showing up. Weird. I couldn't I couldn't open it before. Hey everyone, I'm just grabbing this vampiric ring real quick. Hope you don't mind. Oh what was it was it your life duty to guard that? I'm sorry. On the bright side, no more life, so your duty's fulfilled. <laughs> Look at this vampiric ring. Does it make me heal from killing things? Because that's always a thing I value in games. Recover uh, less than one percent of hit points. Uh uh of damage dealt. Damage dealt and taken is uh, oh, taken is up by 10%. So you constantly heal a little bit from all your damage you're dealing, but you also take more damage. That said, I do like hundreds of damage per second sometimes when I'm fighting a bunch of guys, so... And the d bonus to damage when I'm healing myself could be, could be nice. It's a little tempting. Let's replace the talisman for the moment and I'll test it out and see how I like it. We're overflowing with items again. All the more reason to just go find someone to fight. Hello, Mulberry. That'll let me recover a little bit. Not particularly, actually. Uh, gotta go around. Oh yes, the speed increase from flying is very appreciable. Here we go. So this will take us to the front, the uh, final gate, approximately. Got still got five rooms to go. One more skill up, a rest station. Oh yeah, the grape. I remember that grape and its wrath. Ooh, something's hiding up here. Directly above. Oh, it's the only way to go, actually. <laughs> Not exactly hiding. Don't mind you, just destroying your nest so I can take your eggs, so I can cook up your babies. Can't go over there. Thought there might be a secret. Um, is that another nest? It totally is. Ooh. Special key. A steel key. That is not what you expect to find in a nest. 
Uh, I wonder if choosing different... Ooh, there's, another, there's a lot of these up here. I'm starting to wonder if maybe choosing different keys gives you different rewards, which is a backwards logic that makes zero sense, but video games do it a lot, so I, you just have to accept it at some point. The, a lot of games will, like, if you if you open a key with a different... If you open a lock with a different power of key, the contents become more powerful. Because magic or something, I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's enough of a used mechanic in video games that I could accept the idea that it might be... That might be how it works. Or maybe every key is used for a different purpose, which is how, what I would default to expecting. The main thing that's making me question it is the fact that I... I thought, oh, yeah, okay, small key, small hole. That's... We, we got it. Straightforward. But then it gave me the option to use the winged key, and that makes me more curious and makes me question the system a little bit more about what, what exactly the rules are. Well, my health's staying really full. That said, I don't know if I've been hit at all, so I can't judge the, the, the health recovery yet. But I'm not really planning on getting hurt on purpose either. Hey, everyone. Oh, I, 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 took, I took damage there. And it's recovering. That's nice to see that happening. Oh yeah, it recovers at a decent pace. Although I'm sure it'll... It could be problematic if I start taking heavy damage from a boss. That's rank. And a lot of coins. So many coins. Just keep grabbing more of that. All the food I could ever want. Lots of grapes. They're happy to give me grapes. So this might be the winged... Oh, that's probably where the winged key is used. So maybe I was questioning something not worth questioning. Though it makes me wonder why they showed me the winged key on that menu in the first place. Maybe it's just checking to see if you're paying attention. <laughs> but I'm the person that will sometimes pay too much attention. Oh, hi. Might as well go planting then. Grape seed. Seems like a reasonable choice, although these ones cost less, but the, the, the experience gap is too high. Let's see. I'll plant one of you also. And I can plant at least two of you. And then maybe a mulberry. I'll, t I'll test these, ju just these ones first. This should be my no foes on opportunity, though. There we go. Feed them. Feed them all. Feed them the yummies. Is that not enough? Like, it'll cost like two? Oh, never mind. Come back, my beautiful crystals! I've almost lost you. There we go. And so I have stocked up on grapes. Ooh. Got an eating lo uh, opportunity. What else is around here? So going through a locked door will somehow take me to... Oh, there's the lock. That might have the steel key requirement. Howdy, friend. Not sure if I have anything you need. Maury's Touring Restaurant. Call, and I am at your service. I am honored you have summoned me again. Now then, what do you want to order? I still love the... Our secret ingredient is sincerity. So now I can do eggs, such as egg on... Nope, nope, I don't have any buns for egg on toast. But I can do an omelet. Chicken au gratin. Pancakes. Might as well go for the experience bonus. Also, I want to see how delicious the pancakes look. <laughs> Very well. Leave it to me. They better be goddamn amazing. That looks really good, actually. Sorry for the wait. God damn it. Who's the person who paints their food? That's so that's someone's full-time job is to paint food with, with like to be like almost look like fetish fetishistically delicious. I that's a hard word to say that I'd probably it's probably not a real word. The variation of that word probably doesn't count. But stock up on yums! Very well. Leave it to me. It is an oddly satisfying screen for basically leveling up. <laughs> Go for an omelet, or do I save it? I mean, we could always make more eggs. Do I do some chicken tending? Oopsie. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, little store over here. I kind of just want an open, an open space to do this. Let's go ahead and drop the egg. 
Used to hatch chicken. Don't mind me. Let's see. This will burn through some of our supply of seeds. Come on, chicken. Come get the nums. Come get the, the beautiful, beautiful nums. I just dropped, picked that back up. That is not the intended outcome here. There we go. This will help me a bit with the fact that I'm constantly running out of space. Feed it all to a chicken and he'll, he'll just shit eggs everywhere. And I'll turn that into more experience. And then I'll murder his face off. A murderous, disgusting chicken face off. I did not actually mean to do that, but I guess I'm gonna have to live with it now. <laughs> I did the map thing again. Let's go cooking again. Gonna have, to, gonna have to stock up on some more recipes to give him more to do. Unfortunately, all we have is a bunch of eggs now. And almonds aren't worth that much, all things considered. I might want to just hold on to them for now. Oops. That's fine, I can take- oop! Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Come on. There we go. That's what I get for trying to jump. <laughs> we can just revisit the store over here and we can drop off the eggs. Let's see. So much material! Excessive quantities of material. I feel like I should store the six, I don't know if I want to use that right away. So many grapes. So many everythings. How do I deal? How do I deal? I'll put away the talisman and probably the gourmet ring. The egg. Do I leave it at that? I think so. I could I could eat the uh I could eat the grapes. Although they're not worth that much as far as stuff goes. Let's double check the guy's dialogue because I accidentally skipped it. This place is suspicious. I'm thinking of leaving. You seem to be an honest soul. I'll tell you something since you're here. You seem to be an honest soul, which is why you've you're killing all of your ex-comrades. Because you're so honest. Have I ever told you how much I value your honesty? Kind of want to get more toast with a hot cross bun. Tempting. Though it's more, it costs more than the actual item you get with it. Ooh. Increased damage dealt for 18 seconds. That just sounds like fun, honestly. Grab one of those just because I can. An even more powerful stone for luck. Same vampiric ring I already have. I'll stop with the, uh... I'll stop with Overload and be happy with that. That could be a fun item to use on the boss fight. Alright. Enjoy being here, whatever you do. Steel ring? I, or steel key, I hope? Yes, it is. Howdy. Don't mind me, just trying to end you all. Everything's not, everything's about to blow up over there, so I gotta get out. Oh, awkward. Come over here. There we go. Who else we got? I see you guys trying to hide out over there. Oh, you blocking. He's blocking. Everything's on fire over here. But I'm gonna just heal heal my way through it. Ooh, everything's on fire. They're really causing themselves most more harm than me. I question their methodology, but not their conviction. There we go. It's actually hard to keep track of how fast skills happen in this game. Comet Spear? That sounds cool. Shower foes in waves of glowing spears akin to comets. Ooh. I like the sound of that. Quite a bit. Consecutive ice icicles should have the ground in both directions. There's so many skills! There's so many! Ooh, Freeze Enhance is mastered. I can't get any further into that. What's this say? Increased gliding speed, mastered. Right, the ability points. I haven't gone here for a while. I lost track of the fact that they were down here a little bit. We have some points to spend, like a lot of them actually. Experience gained from food, discounted shops. Enhance additional effects of equipment. Does that mean that your my the special abilities of my items will get more powerful? Less likely to get status effects. Apply uh, freeze effect on attacks when hit points are lower. 
uh, air damage increased. Increased damage next attack by 30% of successful guard. All hit point recovery increased. There's a lot of good things here. A lot of interesting things here. I'm curious about the uh, status effect one. What if that makes Vampire more powerful, for example? I'm mostly curious, so I want to look at it. Do I just increase my foes on? It makes sense to do that. It's a flat upgrade for everything, so I should probably be putting points into it. Although well, Comet Spear is interesting too. Ground only. I want to try it. Enhanced. PP cost of 20. That is a, that is a bump up in, in cost. Might be a fun replacement though for my uh, current homing attack. Uh, I can afford to upgrade the Cypher still. There she blows. There we go. So yes, I did for about a half an episode forget what the uh, <laughs> ability points were for. Let's see. So I've been using Ice Shot. Let's replace that with a uh, Comet Spear. Yep, we'll do that. I want to see how that plays out. Could be a fun skill to use. Expensive, uses half my energy. But I use my- I mostly use POW. So having a, a more expensive energy cost thing isn't unreasonable. Out of here. Oh, I see you. Anything else hidden around? Not the moment. Then on to boss fight we go, right? Right over here, level 21. Probably a reasonable place to just uh, throw down a save real quick. There we go. Are you ready to make a mess? Also, hang on a second. Vampiric ring. See, so if that got... I mean, it says the effects of, of equipment go up. So, these numbers haven't changed, but I, presumably their effects have actually changed. Let's see, uh... No, the effects are not listed as being higher or lower right now on that screen. Interesting, the Vampiric Ring gives me 15 defense, by the way. That's a decent chunk. But yeah, it still says 0.8% of health is recovered. It still says 40% POW. But I believe that's supposed to be more powerful, so... I don't know. Something to learn about. Time to go fight the big bad. Father! Not quite. Don't you recognize me? You are Lord Brigan! The Queen of the Underworld thinks highly of me. I have been delegated to discipline King Odin, who steals jewels from her realm. Observe! The pitiful king is merely a puppet to my will. This country is finally mine! So you're behind the chaos in this land. You disgust me! Leave the king at once! <laughs> I'll tear off those wings of yours and remove my shame for having known you! Your soul shall become my plaything! <laughs> Well, there's a twist. Am I gonna have to kill my own father now? Demon Lord Odin. Rut row. Friend? Not friend. Ow. <laughs> Decked in the face. Spears. Don't know if that actually landed any real hits on us. Oh, it's following me. Interesting. Come here. Oh, man. He's an aggressive one. Oh, can't dodge through him unless he's attacking, apparently. That hurt. <laughs> okay. Incoming damage. Oh, I got behind him somehow. Bit of a surprise. Let's go for a quick... Egg on toast. Only the best. Might be a fun time to use Overload. And then just get in there. Oh, you little crap. 
No, wrong direction. I am wasting these sec precious seconds right now. Come on, make it count. Make it count. Make it count. Slow down for a second. I'm trying to. I'm trying to ruin you. Nope, oh, facing the wrong direction. I think. Hey, buddy. How do you feel about being on fire? I'm trying to get those free heals while I can. Oops. Getting punched in the face a lot. Am I getting hurt by my fire? I don't know if that hurts me. I just kind of assumed it wouldn't because it's mine. There we go. Taking hits. Taking hits. Hey, you can see all the little ones popping up for all the healing I'm getting. Oopsie. Alright. Damage is becoming a problem. Ow. He, tra he tracked me pretty bad. I'm back! Oh, tried to, tried to dodge out of that. Kinda got stuck. Oh, hello. Dodge. Nope. Nope, dodge was largely unsuccessful. That was a failed attempt. I think I'm toxic right now. Fix that up real quick. Maybe give myself some PP. And... Quick heal. Uh oh. Incoming danger. Alright. Let's do a cyclone. There we go. That's bound to stack up. Kind of went through them. <laughs> Definitely more of a group clear than anything else. But hey, he gave me another one. Dodge out. Ooh, shockwave. Did not prepare myself for that one properly. Where's my spears? There they are. Right, a lot of my a lot of my attacks are instantaneous, but the shock with the spears have have happened in real time. I'm just gonna cautiously eat behind him. <laughs> I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Oop. Not honestly, not a big fan of the spear attack so far. I'm not sure if the outcomes have been that worth it. That's a lot of it incoming attackers. Hi. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Get crushed. <laughs> Ow. Damage taken. What he doesn't what he doesn't know is that having that many enemies is actually a, a bit of a boon for me. Cuz it means I get way more uh, vampiric health recovery. Returned. Gwendolyn, you made it back safely. I have violated your edict, but I have important information for you. Please take this. This ring is to Trell. Good work, Gwendolyn. That man, I was right to tempt Oswald. Tempt? What do you mean, Father? He and I formed a pact. I would give you to him if he could slay the dragon Wagner. Obviously, he succeeded. The ring is a prize from that battle. With your latest actions, you have atoned for your past transgressions. Welcome back, my child. Your honor has been restored. the dragon for me no this is no longer where I belong Gwendolyn farewell I wish you in the heavens well
Well, she's just endlessly tortured and uh, conflicted, isn't she? Torn loyalties between a, a secret half sister on death row and a uh, a surprise husband that killed a dragon for her. How much of the tree is uncovered right now, actually? Oh, right, there's this whole top part still. Until I until I remember the top part, I was sort of thinking we might be a little close to the end of the game already. I'm like, wow, that, that was quick. But no, we're just we're reaching the. I wonder if this I wonder if these end represent acts, like Act One, Act Two, or something. Well, the game already measures the game in acts, so that doesn't actually make sense. So I, I'll just drop that thought process real quick. 